always underestimate myself. Every single time. You underestimate yourself? Yeah. Can I have your phone? Open Instagram. Your profile, please. You're following 947 people. Open it. Can I see it? Yes. You're surprised why are you not valuing yourself the right way? You're surrounding yourself by 947 polished, filtered, Photoshop monsters, surgeons in Photoshop, surgeons. They can paint a new human being. And you're surprised why are you not valuing yourself? This is your reality. This is what's real to you. This is what you see 24-7. My job requires me to follow these people. Are you? On Instagram after job hours? Yes, you are. Do you have a personal account and a job account? No, you don't. You do? Why is your personal account following all the people? You should have a purely job account to follow the polished people for the job. And you should have a purely personal account to follow what makes you feel better. What makes you grow to a better human being. 947 polished fake people that take 722 pictures if they go to the bathroom for two minutes phds and selfies and you're surprised why do you feel low all the time your reality is what you surround yourself with you surround yourself with losers broke people polished people and a bagara all the wrong people in the world and you're surprised why do you feel low i like them they're my friends i just follow them to get to know the news of the latest songs and the latest trends when are you gonna get out of trends do you know the brand of my jeans does it matter does it add any value to me do you know what car i drive what phone i hold do you know what computer what plane, what class of the plane I book, or I beg the hostess to let me see for me to take a selfie in, and then I go to the normal seat. Or I rent a Maserati or a Lamborghini for my birthday, and I go like, thank you, Fanzati. It's everybody. How many selfies do you take before you post one online? Why? Because you're not satisfied about how you look. Because you actually don't know what you want to post. Except, look at me, I'm pretty. Vanity. No substance. I'm not against taking selfies. Supported by a quote from Osho. <laughs> I'm against doing things with no brain. I'm against you living your life with no direction. See, those guys and girls who are mastering their fakeness, are masters in their game and they're affecting you in all the negative ways possible until you become another master to affect other poor people in all the negative ways possible you're gonna be trapped forever but you have a chance to leave a much more positive impact to leave a mark in this universe do you know who was the fashionista of year 2012 no, you don't. Tab, who was the hottest male model in 2017? No, you don't. Do you know what was the greatest bikini or dress or purse or sarmaya shoes or whatever in 2016? No, you don't. And you won't. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you before anybody else. And you want you to matter? It matters to you momentarily. Oh my God, look at... Who's trending now? Kendall and Kylie Jenner. Until you go like, oh my God, look at Maya Diab Jenner. Momentarily everything. You keep feeding this and this with the wrongest food ever. And you don't want to feel sick. Can you eat junk food for a month? You're eating junk food for years here. That's why when you look at yourself in the mirror, you go like, hi, bagara. That's why when you look at yourself in the mirror, you go like, I can't get married. I'm not good enough for her. That's why you don't see yourself valuable. Your dad and mother, the people that truly, genuinely, from deep down inside their soul, love every inch of you, see that, and you don't. And you don't actually see their love because you want to be like that.
whatever that is. So when you surround yourself with that, that matters, you will see that you have value, that you can stand up and say, no, I am not gonna follow the crowd. No, I am different. No, I am valuable. No, I have a voice. So yes, I insist create a business account. You're joining a Sheikh Media towards the end of the month, right? First day, those accounts are gonna disappear. Create another account to follow all your gossip. Your main account should follow things that make you the monster that I see. How old are you now, 23? By the age 30, your name will be international in marketing and business development and project management, international. But you can't be that if you follow all those monkeys. Are they feeding me negativity unconsciously? What does it add to your life if Kendall Jenner dyes her hair pink or blue? Literally, you tell me. What does it what does it add to your life if she breaks up with this guy today, this guy today, that guy today, this guy to have to have 17 children for her to be the bazillionaire of all in the world? What difference does it make to you? You are not successful in anything. What are you doing? What are it is against your culture, your religion, your 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 dad and mom principles and basics and everything that they raised you for. Now you want to tell me, you know, it's okay. What's okay about it? What's it's it okay? okay but the work field I used to work. Used to, used to. If it is a job, I understand. Create a job account for that. But if it is not a job, why are you feeding yourself with that? When you go to bed at night, you see her face, her bikini, her thighs, her shoes, her car. His love affair, he's cheating on that, he's cheating on this. You're surrounding yourself by cheaters, bastards, that are making it cool and normal. This is, th these are your friends. You'll need to unlock your iPad first. Shut up, Siri. We're having a serious conversation. You are an expert about how to be a You are the genius. You have a PhD on how to cheat on your girlfriend. You are the encyclopedia of how to be shallow and make it. You are the go-to in what size your ass should be in 2019 versus 2018. But are you an expert in growing yourself? Are you an expert in making a difference in the world? Do you know anything about anything non-superficial? Do you? Ask yourself that. You're surrounding yourself with cheaters, people that are promoting all the wrongs in life. Their life is upside down, inside out, unstable. The only glory they're having is money. But money cannot buy you happiness. Money cannot give you peace of mind and peace of heart. Unless you're soulless, which 99% of them are. Do you want to be soulless and not care? Look, what's Kim's mom name? Chris exposed her own daughter to the world just to be famous. And you know? Okay, what else do you need? No morals? What are morals in 2019? Well, this is what you're doing. You don't know anything about morals because you're not surrounding yourself by morals. You want to live in a world that everything is okay. No, nothing. No, it does not work like that. There are rules on this earth and it applies on you whether you like it or not unless you are soulless. You want to be soulless? Be soulless, but don't be half-half. So don't come to me wanting to be something and then grabbing all the garbage from your social media and from whatever you're feeding your brain and, and, your, and your soul with and you want to become a better human being. How are you going to become a better human being if you're not eating good? Man, this is garbage. Listen, arts was, is and will always be a gate to a civilized nation. Check out the art that is happening nowadays in the Middle East. Check out the art that is happening in the American market, what are they promoting? Compare it to the values through the art that was 50 years ago. Black people used to know morals and learn mor morals through songs. Now, break up with her because I'm bored. <laughs> and it's a catchy song. Oh, ya Hanan! People are kings on nothing, out of nothing. Capitalizing, I'm singer XYZ, I point my finger and I undress you or I point my finger and I take whatever I want from you. And you're proud about that? Conclusion is stop being stupid. Surround, not you, anybody. Stop being a follower.
Don't follow the herd. Be a leader of your own self. And if you don't know yourself, get to know yourself. You know all the details about Kim's. You've seen Maya Diab's more than you've seen a book that tells you how to think. Don't follow anybody. Just follow yourself. Just explore yourself. Just get to know what's in here. My God created this amazing creation called human being X, which is you. Be that regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your surrounding. Not even a single thing we do in our life does not have obstacles. We've done a million and three events. Did any event go smoothly? Did any operation of any event go smoothly? No. Did we stop? Of course not. It's not because we have everything. We don't. We want more. What we have now is Alf Alhamdulillah, but we want more. Thank you, God. I want more. I will get more. But in order for me to get more, I need to do more. I need to surround myself with the people who did more, not sitting doing nothing and telling me what to do. No, it does not work like that. So don't take your advice. Don't have a mentorship by a person who's never done it. A single man should not advise you how to be married. A divorced person should not advise you how to be divorced. Only take the advice from a person who actually did it, made it, or educated themselves a lot about the topic read a million and three resources about the topic for them to be able to actually discuss ideas it's not about personal experiences only it's about passing on personal and others too only then yes take it but a person that does not educate themselves does not grow does not accept anything in life leads you to look at yourself as a worthless not valuable thing oh yeah anyways we talk about this and more in the workshop we're having one in abu dhabi zaid sports city the vip majlis in the tennis stadium it's happening on the 30th of april all the details are in the description i want to see your pretty face make tomorrow a better day